Hi guys, it's Ramey, a math person, and I'll be going over question 114 on SOA exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so if you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So basically, this question is asking for a conditional variance of y given x is equal to 1. As always, I like to always start off with just a regular probability function, conditional probability, when y is of y given x is equal to 1. Because I can break this down into y is equal to some little y and x is equal to 1 over x is equal to 1, probability that x is equal to 1. All right, so let's start off. What values can y start take? It can only take the value 0 or 1. And let's do the numerator first. What is the probability that y is equal to some little y and x is equal to 1? Well, y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 at point zero five right here y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 at this point right here, 0.125. And now we just have to divide by the probability that x is equal to 1. So what is the probability that x is equal to 1? Well, x is equal to 1 at these two spots right here. So I just have to add those two up. 0.05 plus 0.125, which is equal to 0.175. So now when I divide it, y is equal to some little y and x is equal to 1 over the whole probability that x is equal to 1. That's just equal to those, this column divided by our probability that x is equal to 1, which is this right here, right? And I can do the same for the denominator or the 1 value. The numerator is equal to 0.2857 and the denominator is equal to 0.7143. So these are our probabilities, our conditional probabilities. And now we just have to find the variance. As always, our variance formula is our second moment expectation minus the first moment whole thing squared. So then what is our expectation? Second moment? Well, that's just 0 squared times the probability 0.2857 plus 1 squared times 0.7143, which is just equal to 0.7143. What is the first moment? Well, that's just equal to 0 times 0.2857. I mean, on the exam, if you're tight on time, like don't show this work because this work is just for you. Just know that this is the process, and I'm just showing you guys. But I don't recommend showing every single step like this on the exam because time is limited. Right? So then our variance finally is equal to the 0.7143 minus 0.7143 squared which is equal to 0 0.2040, which is approximately equal to 0.2, which is your answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!